Welcome to Stunner Share. So today in this video, what we are going to see is the continuation of secret of quantum computing. In the earlier video, we just saw the uh, introduction of Kamarala equation, who has invented it, and uh, and he has made it a secret. So we, some traders reverse engineered it, and then uh, we started using it regularly. So what pivot was actually, I just like when you keep the uh, equations or the uh, indicators secret, the effectiveness will not be much there. So so he was trying to make other users also. I uh, use the equation properly so that the effectiveness is more. So now we will let, just see what is Camarilla equation, how the equation looks like, how it is calculated, and what are the proper levels you have, we have to measure. So as per the experience of Pivot Boss, what he has done is like he was uh, this equation was uh, is like uh, uh, this equation was used a lot by traders, and they, they had found this as more powerful in all time frames, irrespective of any time frame. Camarilla equation. Uh, was very very powerful and what pivot boss has actually done is like he has followed this equation for many number of years and he has spent every day analyzing the stock based on the levels when he, when whenever the stock prices is hitting on it so so he has much he has knows um, he knows how this pivot levels actually reacts and how the price react whenever the pivot levels is hit so he has he has a lot of experience so he was able to do it so why he is mentioning this line is like ue guys also has to Use the same practice so that we will guys also know what happens when those prices react near the uh, pivot levels. And then uh, here, what he is trying to explain is like there are eight levels, key levels in Camarilla equation, and the Camarilla equation is calculated based on previous days high, low, and close. And there are four supports which are called as L1, L2, L3, L4, and four resistance H1, H2, H3, H4. Here, this equation will be shown in the next screen, but there will be something called as range. For example, if you see close press range, so this range is nothing but high minus low. The previous days, high and low is called as the range. So if you see, this is the formula. So H1, H2, H3, H4, and L1, L2, L3, L4, based on that, they are trying to calculate the formula. And then you can also see, uh, I have just plotted it here, just to go to, uh, indicators and try to give pivots and try to get standard pivot let me uh, tell you from clearly okay so try type in pivot x pivot standard pivot and pivot standard pivot will be looking different you have to go into settings and then go to inputs and change this type to camera lock and then go to style uncheck p R1, S1, S2, and this on S3, S4, although you have to include it. And then you have to, if you want, you can give a color to it. But the color thing, I will tell you in depth. So this is how the camera pivot point looks. And you can also calculate it. So how those lines come, I have also calculated it. It is working fine for me. So the camera equation offers a series of price-based support and resistance level, which each level carrying a specific call to function. What does that mean? mean is like? The each it, it it is also plotting some resistance R1, R2, R3, R4, which means like L1, L2, L3, L4, and H1, H2, H3, H4. But each and every level has a specific function to do. So what are those functions? We will just look into it. So this Camarilla equation is a powerful method. So you need to act accordingly. So what pivot was has done is like. He has given colors to the pivots. So H3 and L4 he is giving red color and H4 and L3 he is giving green color. Now you guys will be doubted. Why H3? I'll just mark this. Uh, wait. This is H3. H3 and L4 is in red color. And then L3 And H4 is in green color. Clear. So what he has done is like the support in support side he is taking in support side he is taking L3 
and then in resistance side he is taking H4 and he is combinedly giving it as green color and in the case of red color he is giving resistance R3 and support S4 as red color. Why does he, why is he giving that? So here why is he giving that is right side, he has differentiated the colors. Okay, let me tell you why he is giving that. So what basically happens is like, whenever the price touches the H3, H3 means resistance, whenever the price touches the so this is h3 and that should be in red color and this is h4 that should be in green color and then this is l3 that should be in green color and this is l4 that should be in red color so what he is trying to say over here is so when our prices touches the h3 this is h3 Yeah. Whenever prices touch the H3, it tries to reject from there and started moving down. So that means this is going to be a reversal so that the bulls will stop and the bears will start. And the same time, when the prices touches L3, support 3, the prices get rejected and moves up. That means this zone is for a bullish zone. So that is what he is trying to say over here. So he is explaining with the responsive participant. Whenever the market is at, uh, whenever the price reaches the H3 or the L3, market tries to reverse. So, so these points will act as a good resistance and good support. So you can expect a reversal. So whenever the whenever a falling market coming and touches the L3, it becomes a bullish sign. That means a reversal is highly possible. So that is why he is giving this line as green color. And the same for here. The market will be going up, but when it is touching the H3, it will be giving a reversal. So that, that is why he is giving this line as a red zone, mentioning that the reversal is possible, mentioning that the bears can be activated over there. So that is what he is studying over here. Now there will be a question for you guys, right? L3 and H4 has been given green color. H3 and L4 is given a red color. What about L1, L2, H1, H2? So as he has mentioned in the previous uh, quotation itself, every support and resistance in the Camarilla equation offers a specific call to action. So here, L1, L2, H1, H2, he is just ignoring it and he, and he even does not plot it in his charts. That means those are less effective. Anyways, he will cover this point of why he has ignored in the chapter 7. He has mentioned that. However, I will discuss how and when to use these levels in chapter 9. For now, avoid L1, L2, L3. Sorry, L1, L2, H1, H2. And that is why if you also see over here, I just activated activated S3, R3 and S4, R4. So you guys can also do the same. So L1, sorry, L1, L2, H1, H2, you guys need to avoid. And H3 and L4, you have to give it as red color. And H4 and L3, you have to give it as green color. Now what, now we came to know what will happen when the prices touches this H3 and L3. Here, now let's see what will happen to the Okay, I'll draw a new one better. Now we need to know what will happen to the price when it touches H4 and L4. So this is H4 which should be in green color and this is L3 which should be in green color and then H3 should be in red color and L4 should be in red color. Okay, this is fine. So now what we need to do is like now we need to understand what will happen when the prices touches L4 and H4. So whenever the prices, so now you can you guys can easily understand it very clearly. So, for example, if the prices are touching H3, 
what happens it is a red sign that means bears can come so reversal is possible whenever the prices touches l3 that means it is in green color bulls are highly possible to come so it will reverse there now whenever the price touches h4 now the price is going to touch h4 whenever the price is touching the h4 you the traders will be very cautiously waiting on how the market is going to react whenever the h4 is touched so what happens in more number of times whenever h4 is touched it gives a breakout and initiative buyers will be entering over the zone and there will be a huge breakout happening and at the same time in l4 whenever the prices touches the l4 initiative sellers will be entering this place and the breakdown is highly possible so that is what he has given us here this layer is seen as the last line of support and resistance so h4 and l4 is going to be the last hope for support and resistance and it is watched very close, closely for breakout or reversal people are going to watch it for breakout or reversal so traditionally traders of this system is traders who are using camarilla pivots watch the fourth layer of indicator for breakout more than reversal they watch it for breakout and h4 is usually colored as green that means bullish breakout is going to happen l4 is colored as red that means bearish breakout is going to happen so as so by the way we visualize the uh, pivot points what we could understand is like so h3 is going to be the zone for bears and h4 is going to be zone for bulls and the same thing for the support l3 is going to be the zone for bullish bulls and l4 is going to be the zone for bears so this is what he has covered in this standard camarilla equation where there are four supports and four resistance in this l1 l2 h1 h2 he is going to ignore and he is going to give colors as h3 and l4 as red and l3 and h4 as green why he is giving red color is whenever he is giving a red color that means the the bears can get, take control and the green color mean bulls can get, take control so that is what is explained in this small concept if you guys feel the content is good kindly give a like if you want the knowledge to be shared to others kindly give a share if you feel the content you have any queries do let me know in the comment section thanks a lot stay tuned for more videos